I've been making fun of UW Oshkosh all these years. Little did I know. But it's bad enough you've got two felons of the same faculty at the entire university. They're in the same department and they're both teaching, of all things, criminal justice. You can look the case up, by the way. And I don't know how well known it even was when Oshkosh hired the guy, which is apparently five years ago, because I found out about it when somebody at UW Oshkosh, Mark, you think it's bad that they got Richards, who's a felony drug dealer? They got a murderer on the faculty. By the way, his conviction was never overturned, nothing like that. He's a convicted double murderer. <laughs> these are the people that we're giving these salaries and pensions to. UW Oshkosh's criminal justice program has not only a felony drug dealer on the faculty, they have a convicted double murderer as a professor. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. So, Nepal, what do you think the other felon is? Oh, maybe he's a drug dealer. You thought I was joking when I said he's a murderer. He, in fact, murdered two people. Paul says, who's in charge of reading? I think they must be looking for it. Hey, it's criminal justice. We need to have both sides of the perspective. Criminal justice, isn't it? Well, what's what, what are one of the two words? Criminal. Oh, yeah. Too bad Dahmer died. He could have been the head of the department. When John Gotti wasted his time down there in Marion, he could have been teaching at Oshkosh all this time. You can't make this stuff up. What a clown university that is. 502 News. How many kids who go to this guy? I wonder if he even mentions it. Because by the way, uh, kids, you may want to know this. I'm a murderer. <laughs> I'm a murderer. I don't even know if I'd want my kid going to a class taught by a murderer. Two murders. I, I've read the appeal, by the way, of his case in which they upheld his conviction, and they go through all of the details, and they talk about put he put the bodies in a barrel to dispose of the bodies, and it was he was divorcing his wife and blamed the mother-in-law on the whole, uh, and uh, got paroled, got released after uh, serving 15, 20 years or whatever it was, and uh, was not apparently an obstacle to UW Oshkosh wanting to hire him. Paul said, doesn't Avery live around there? Oh, yeah, man, it'll walk whatever, Avery. Well, put in your resume, Avery. All you have to do is get those teeth fixed. Come on over there. They're, they're, they'll lap you up over at UW Zero.